In this Debaco University video, I'm going to go over the role of silica in plants, uh, a study, as well as applying it to your cannabis plants. All right, let's get into using silica for cannabis production. So just to start with, silica is uh, it's regarded as a jack of all trades when it comes to plants, and some even refer to this nutrient as a super vitamin for plants. It is critical to any grow room, especially in soilless hydroponic operation, simply because silica is found in high concentrations in soil. Now, what is the role of silica in a uh, plant? So we can see this a nice little example here. Is that silica does make plants stronger, bigger, and more hardy, at least according to the marketing. Some of the specific reasons growers use silica supplements are for stronger cell walls, bigger and stronger stems, increased resistance to environmental stresses, as well as pathogens and pests. This also improved metabolic functions. Now, kind of the premise of how it works, well, if you don't have silica or low silica in plants, we could see a fungal um, spore kind of lands here on the cell, plant cell, and it's e easily able to penetrate into that epidermal or outer layer cell. Well, if there was a silica layer that kind of creates this kind of harder outer barrier, and the fungi may not be able to penetrate into that dermal that epidermal cell, preventing it from infecting the plant. So when we're looking at silica and improved disease resistance, this is a study. Uh, so looking at kind of comparing some strawberries. And this study further showed to infer the host pathogen recognition, probably by preventing signaling molecules from finding their specific targets. So in this example, you're kind of getting that communication disruption. Silica was also suggested to induce indirect defense mechanisms by altering composition of herbivore-induced plants. Under high tunnel, strawberry plants accumulated as much as 3% uh, dry weight silica, which resulted in significant reduction of powdery mildew severity and higher yields. On the other hand, strawberry plants grown in soil were unable to absorb uh, silica, whether amended in liquid or solid form. So keep in mind that it is going to be um, substrate specific as far as how much benefit you might see or might not see compared to a control plant. So how should silica be added? Well, if we're looking at considering adding this, well, it should be utilized throughout the entire life of the plants from seedling to harvest. Hydroponic systems can rely more heavily on silica su supplementation. It's also useful to supplement uh, plants grown in soil. However, keep in mind that if you are going to choose to add a silica product, it does take time to accumulate in the plants and should not be done one time feeding to get its true benefits. To build up that outer layer to build up that protective layer does take repeated feedings to be able to, for that to accumulate in the plant so you can get the benefits felt uh, and resulting of that. So when you're going through and applying silica, well, there's many different manufacturers, many different um, companies. Silica can be applied either as a root feed or as a foliar spray. Studies have shown that it can absorb a little bit more through foliar feeding uh, than through the root zone, but the root zone does have uptake. Regardless of how you apply the silica, it's important to note that silica can raise the pH of your nutrient solution. So as stated on the product labels, growers are advised to add this product first to their nutrient feed. However, do not directly mix any concentrates together. And I've shown you two kind of examples here, Agrocell 16H and Denigro Protect uh, are just examples of two silica products, one in, in a powdered form with the kind of list of uh, recipes right here, and this one's a liquid form. Often they're done in comparison because this is a liquid form, the powdered form you can mix up uh, as you need it, uh, and you're not paying or needing to store water. So again, it just compares these two versions of potassium silicates. Hopefully this is helpful to your growing situation.